The Great British Radio Play presents Burn Your Phone by Andrew Wallace, a black comedy where a phone operator's working day becomes a living nightmare. Good morning, operator service. Which number have you dialed, please? Can I speak to Arthur? Your call has been intercepted, sir. Which number did you dial? I don't know now. Close the book. If you give me the number, sir, I can let you know the new one. Hold on. 712365. And the code, please. I don't need a code. It's for my reference. Aren't you local, then? I'm in Hastings, sir. Well, so am I, so you don't need a code either, do you? Thank you, sir. The number you're dialing is... Oh, it's all right. I've just found the new number. Hello? Cheers. Good morning. Yeah, operator the service. Labour Party's hello? decision to... Yes, hello. This is the operator. How can I help you? Sorry, I'm, I've got Jimmy Young in my other ear. Hang on. We're talking to Barbara Follett about that. She's director of Emily's list. That's better. How can I help you? I've been trying to get hold of my sister, and the phone is continually engaged. It's Orbington, 822-1. Is there something wrong with it? If you'd like to hold the line, I'll listen for conversation. Yes, caller, there is a conversation on that line. Oh, thank you. Uh, do you suppose they'll be long? Um, yeah, I have a feeling they might be. Oh, well, it's their phone bill. Bye. Goodbye. Good morning, operator service. I just put three quid in this pay phone of yours and swallowed it. I'm sorry you've lost your money, caller. Have you a telephone at home? Yeah, 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 I have. Why? Uh, I can credit the amount lost to your yeah, home phone number. Yeah, but I've got to make this call. I can appreciate that, sir, but uh, if you just... It's very important. I'm sure it is. That's uh, how you people make your money, isn't it? Sir, if We're you just could... ripping people off. I'm not trying to rip you off, sir. Oh, I can I just... have the call, then. I can refund you the money and then do a reverse charge call with the operator fee waived. Oh, I don't want to do that. Or I can send you a postal refund. Look, you moron, I just want to make a short local call, so connect me, will you? Oh, yeah, so if it's just a short local call, why, oh, why did you put three pounds in? Uh, get me your superior. There are only team managers. Ah. Please hold the line. Good afternoon, Sheila Box. Sheila, it's still morning. Oh, no. I have a call for you, putting it through. Good morning, operator service. Is that the sex line? Uh, yes, it is. What? It's the sex line. How can I help you? Can we have some sex? If you give me your name and address, I'll send you some in the post. <laughs> There's a girl here who wants you. Well, that's hardly surprising. I am rather lovely. She doesn't really. No. Bye. <laughs> Good morning, operator service. Thank you. Goodbye. Good morning. Operator service. Reverse charge call, please. Reverse charge call. Which code and number are you calling? Where am I calling from? No, no, I have your number. The one you're calling. Uh, I want 424-960-651. Thank you. May I have your name, please? What? Your name, to pass on. Oh, Paul. No. Uh, uh, Barry. Barry it is, then. Thank you. Good morning, I have a call from you Barry. You slag! It's I'm going to get you! Will, you. will you pay for the call? I'll tear your arms off and beat you to death with them. would you just hold the line, please, for a moment, Get off the phone, you idiot! Will, will you pay for the call? Listen, you can. You, you, you will? What? Pay, pay for the call, will you, from body. Barry? You slag! She's gone. She's replaced the receiver. For God's sake! Good afternoon, operator service. There's a bomb! A bomb? Yeah! And... Where is this bomb? In the high street. Whereabouts? Uh, on the roof of the cinema. It's going to go off. It's going to be loads of death and bodies and stuff. Could, could you just slow down? I'm trying to fill in a form here. I'm only joking, mate. Well, whether you're joking or not, I still have to fill in this form, so just hold the line for a moment. Yeah, but it's not really there. What if it is? What if you're lying about there not being one? I'm going to look pretty stupid if I ignore you then, aren't I? Think of all the people who'll suffer. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now, what does this bomb look like? Uh, it's, a, it's a big silver meter, uh, and in it, there's this computer with a time on it, and in that there's this big sort of cannibal and fuse, and, and the old bomb written on it in blue. No, in words. Mm -hmm. Quite easy to spot, then. Yeah. And who exactly are you? My mate's name is Gary. Sheila, there's a bomb. 
a nuclear device on the high street. Andy? We're all going to die. Yes? It's the end. The Andy? end. It's the end. You... Armageddon. Have you filled in a form? Yes. Is the bomb for real? No. Send the form over anyway. Tip top. Good morning, operator service. I said I was going to kill you, and I am. Oh, you are, are you? And how are you going to do that? You'll see. Hello? Hello, Andy speaking. How can I help you? Andy, it's Marilyn on the end table, Terminal 89. Hi. I've got my knickers in twist over this call. What's up? I've got an interception, but when I read the state of line, there's nothing there. Oh, uh, well, look in that folder by a terminal. The new number should be there. Oh, yeah, it mm. is. Thanks, Andy. Um, Marilyn? Yeah? Have you had a real nutter calling you this morning? Yeah, plenty. Why? <laughs> no, this one was making death threats. Oh, lucky you. Okay. Thanks, anyway. Right. Bye. Bye. Good morning, operator service. Had any thoughts about the afterlife? No. I just believe in a big fruity now. Oh, that must be reassuring. It is. I feel at home with myself. I'm glad you have some kind of faith. You're going to need it. I think you're a rather sad character. <laughs> no. I'm happy nearly all the time. It seems... The line you're on doesn't exist. Yes. Clever that, isn't it? I'm impressed. And I'm sure the police will be too. Oh, how disappointing. Can't you deal with me yourself? And besides, all the police can do is pitch up after the event, which in this case is your imminent and painful demise. Oh, so it's going to be painful as well, is it? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And slow. Yep. And usually all it takes is a pair of tweezers. Tweezers? You'd be surprised. And what have I done to deserve this little treat? Just think about that. Good morning, operator service. A reverse charge call, please. Reverse charge call to its code and number? 0171824883. And your name, please? Mrs. Cheeseman. Mrs. Tweezers? Cheeseman. I'm sorry. Uh, ho 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 hold the line. Uh, good morning. I have a call from Mrs. Tweet. She, um, I'm sorry, that's Mrs. Yes, Tweet. I'll pay for the call. Thank you, operator. Thank you. Go ahead, please. Emergency, which service? Police. Your, your mobile phone. The signal's breaking up, sir. Police. Hold the line. Uh, it's in a crash. Exchange connecting mobile 0831 093 776. Thank you. You're through to the police caller. Yes, Southbound along the M25, yes, right. Yes. How many vehicles? Yes, yes. yes. is an ambulance required? Yes, yes, yes. That's all right, I can arrange it. And your yes. name, caller? Yes. Mr. Yes. Death. What? Mr. Death. Right, thank you for the call. Goodbye. Goodbye. Andy? Sheila? We've had a complaint about you from Mrs. Cheeseman. Apparently you mispronounced her name. Well, I, I apologise to Mrs. Cheeseman. She's, She's very seen... happy. I'm sorry. Customers have a right to expect quality service, Andy. I know. You have to listen to what they say. Yeah, listen. And be vigilant at all times. Right. Don't do it again, please. I won't. I'm Bye, sorry. Bye, Andy. Bye. Oh. Good morning, operator service. Free phone PIFCO, please. I'm sorry, caller, there is no free phone PIFCO. Isn't there? Sorry. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good morning, operator service. Is my lunch coming? Yes, Mrs. Gittage, your lunch is on its way. It's late. I phoned the services and they just cut me off. Mm, that's because you phone them 20 times a day, Mrs. Gittage. I'm 86 years old. Mm, I know. Is it fish again? I haven't the faintest idea. Will it be here soon? Yes, it will. Oh, I'll phone the services again. Yes, I'm sure they'll be delighted to hear from you. Good afternoon, operator service. You know the STD code? The local area prefix, yes. Do you know what STD stands for? Uh, no, I'm afraid I don't. It stands for sub-trunk dialing. I just thought you should know. Well, now I do. Yes. Good afternoon, operator service. Have you got the code for Chalvington? 
I'm sorry, we don't hold codes here. You can either look in section two of your phone book or dial 192 for direct inquiries. I haven't got a phone book. Ah, uh, well, then it's direct inquiries, I'm afraid. I have to pay for that, though, don't I? It is a chargeable call. What if I wanted a call put through and I didn't know the code? What would you do then? Um... You do have the code, don't you? We're not allowed to give them out. So you have got them? Um, well, give me the code then and stop wasting my time. I can't. I'm sorry. I intend to make a complaint about this. Who do I speak to? <sighs> Try customer services on 150. They can supply you with a phone book as well. Oh, don't you get smart with me. I was just trying to point... Oh. Good afternoon, operator service. Hello, operator service. I hate people who say that. Hatred isn't very professional, is it? You can French kiss a main socket for all I care. Now, now. So what happened? Did you get an extortionate phone bill? I don't hmm? mind paying ludicrous amounts of money to use a wonderful service like this. After all, it's good to talk. <laughs> yeah, so I hear. In case you've forgotten, your extinction is just around the corner. Actually, it had slipped my mind. I'm glad you popped up to remind me. We all have to die sometime. Well, yes, apparently. You're taking this very well. I'm not taking it at all. Oh, I see. You don't believe me. Of course I don't. We get this sort of thing from six-year-olds all the time. Ah, the usual policy of treating people like children. Uh, are you an ex-employee or something? Well... Huh? To get sacked from a well-paid post? Now eh? there's a thought. Is it me you hate or the company? Why are you so hung up about hate, Andy? I didn't tell you my name. I didn't tell you my name. Good afternoon, operator service. Operator? Sir? Having a cold is a real bummer, but it does wonders for one's cow impression. <laughs> does it? Absolutely. Get this. You know, if I didn't know better, I could swear really? that there really was an actual cow on the other end of the line. Oh, shucks. Thanks, operator. Good day. May the force be with you. Emergency, which service? <laughs> it's my husband. Which service? <laughs> Hold the line. Police emergency. It's not the ambulance. What? This is the police. Oh, I, I wanted ambulance. Oh, no. I'll put you through. Oh, my love. Ambulance? Oh, it, it's my husband. He, he's trying to cut his throat. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it, it, it was hard enough getting to the phone. What's the address? S S 60 Tice Road. The ambulance is on its way. Is that him in the background? Yes. Oh. Don't worry, we're on our way. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Good afternoon, operator service. You're having a bad day, Andy. Jesus. Don't use the Lord's name in vain, Andy. Now, listen, you. You're holding up this line and I've got emergency calls up to here. I don't care who you are or what your problem is. Turned just... into a bit of a crusader, haven't you? It's easy what you're doing. Is it? Yeah, yes it is. You or any soldier who fancies having a go. It's not as if I can answer back, is it? You can say what you want and I just have to sit here and take it. Not for much longer, though, eh? I'm so busy being polite and swallowing bile I forget who I am sometimes. Touching. No, really. And so eloquent. I'm within my rights to terminate this call. Are you? If there's anything I can help you with, say now or I cut the line. Actually, there is something you can help me with. What is it? I keep getting engaged on a number. Which number? 01424-460-939. That's my home number. Right. Business engineer, Dave speaking. Hello, um... This is going to sound really odd. Well, I'm all ears. Um, someone keeps phoning the exchange and threatening to kill me. He knows my name and my phone number and everything. Where's he calling from? I don't know. Well, doesn't the number come up on your screen? Well, that's that's the weird thing. It doesn't, no. But then it's not in our database and we can't trace it. That means I've got nothing for the police. All I can suggest is that if you're a man, I, I take it it's a man. Mm -hmm. Not some young lady. It's a man. It's a man. Well, if he puts in an appearance, get back to us and we'll attempt to trace him from here. Right, I'm much obliged, thanks. Hey, don't let it get you down. I'm trying. It's just, you know, I haven't known anything like it. Well, I'd say that was probably a good thing, wouldn't you? I suppose so. Maybe the lion's haunted. Hello? Yeah? Well, that was a joke. If it was haunted, we'd be charging the rental. Right, yeah, thanks. Well, get back to us if you hear any more. Will do. Good afternoon, operator service. Boo. Right. Hello, business 
business Stevens is... on the line. Do a trace quickly, please. That's odd. As far as I can see, there hasn't been a call to your terminal for the past two minutes. What am I going to tell the police? I don't know, Frank. Just wait until he pitches up with these tweezers. His what? Nothing, nothing, thanks, Steve. Hello? Is that the operator? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. How can I help you? Well, about every two hours my phone has a mad five minutes. You mean it gets up and runs about the place? Not quite. It just rings erratically. If I banked against a wall like this... Well, it sort of calms down. I see. Uh -huh. Sounds like a job for the engineers on 151. It's a free call. Thank you, dear. Good afternoon, operator service. I've just put ten pence in this phone and nothing's happened. Cora, that's not a phone you're in. Is it? Uh, you're calling on a drinks machine. It's not a drinks machine. I'm sorry, but it is. Who are you, then? I'm a can of lemonade. Are you? Mm-hmm. Where's the phone, then? You'll find it in the sea. Thank you, Mr. Lemonade. Good afternoon, operator service. They say a wonderful lucidity descends upon those in the terror of their final moments. Who are you? Let me give you a clue. Your name is Andy Special, and you live at number 60 Pifflethwaite Avenue, and you've been an operator for 18 months. That's a clue? You're supposed to be the clever one. Well? You're not asking for another clue, are you? You're a ghost. A ghost? Of whom? Some pitiful and frustrated human being. Wrong. Nil point. I am not pitiful and frustrated, and neither am I a ghost. But you soon might be. How are you going to do it? Tweezers, I told you. Yes, but are you going to jump me on the way home, do it in the car park, in my house? Where? What? <laughs> I'll let you know the answer to that one a little later in the show. All of these conversations are recorded, you know. Not this one, dude. Why not? And why is there no trace of the line you're on? Oh, dear. Look... Who else knows everything about you, including the fact that you have a mole on your left buttock? No one, except... Yes. Me? Is that it? Am I... Am I imagining all this? Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. Who knows? I see. So, um... You're just a suppressed suicidal urge, and instead of me jumping out of, say, a window, it'll be you pushing. And this is the only way I can face my, my, my desire. You could be right. One thing. Mm? I don't want to kill myself. Or perhaps you just think you I'm don't. quite happy. Are you? You're an intelligent man stuck in this job, talking to idiots all day. It must be doing your brain in. I'm a professional. No such thing. We're all human underneath. I need the job. There's nothing else around here. But what of the planned redundancies? What if you're one of those? That had occurred to me. You're under more strain than you realise. I want to talk to the caller some more. Desperate for the familiar sound of abuse and mediocrity. Better than listening to you. Oh? I am terminating this call. Good day. Good afternoon, operator service. I'm trying to get through to a number and it's engaged. Interrupt them for me, will you? I'm sorry, sir. I'm no, not no, just do it, please. I'm not able to interrupt Why the call. Why not? We have to respect the privacy of our callers. I know who it is. I'm just telling you it's all right. It has to be a matter of life and death. How do you know it isn't? Well, you would have said earlier. Well, it is a matter of life. And, and the person requesting call interruption has to be a doctor or a member of the emergency services. Now, look here, you. That's the RSPCA number, and I've got a seagull here that I've hit, that's been hit by a car. Sir, now, if it's the RSPCA, then they'll be dealing with another case. Now, now just you... get this through your thick skull. I've got an injured seagull here, and I fear the worst. If this animal dies, it'll be your fault. Sir, if it dies, it will be your fault because you hit it with your car. Now, dear, you... Sir, I'm trying to You're get this... You're a callous bastard. You know Sir, that? could you just... Do you hate seagulls or I... something? I... I love seagulls. They are my favourite airborne buddies, but I cannot... Un I cannot interrupt the line, I'm sorry. What am I supposed to do? Leave it here. I've been waiting until the line is free. I can't do that, I'm in a hurry. Can't you take the seagull with you? It's a business conference, damn it. I see. You do not see. If you Let me try the line. What's the number? Oh, for Christ's sake. 01425 470 299. I'm sorry, it's still engaged. Right, that's that then. I'll have to break its bloody neck. Sir? You... <laughs> Good afternoon, operator service. Hello. 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 Goodbye.
Good evening, operator service. Not long now. No? Marla, did you hear it? Yeah, he said, not long now. Marilyn heard you too, dipstick. Thanks, see you later. Okay. So don't you try and make out that you exist in my tormented psyche as if I believed all that cobbers. Oh, but you did. You'll convince yourself you didn't, but we both know that for a time there, you... Are you phoning someone? Mm-hmm. Police, emergency. You. Hello? Good evening, this is Andy Special at the exchange. Did you catch any of that caller's speech? I heard someone say you. Yeah, that man has been threatening my life all day. I thought he was just some kind of crank, but... Well, he knows where I live and... Everything. You don't know anyone who'd hold a grudge like that, do you? <sighs> well, hatred for our beloved company I can understand, but not for me personally. I no. can contact your local police station and get someone to meet you when you finish. Oh, I would appreciate that. Right. I'll be okay where I am for the time being. There are dozens of people here. Unless it's one of them. I don't think so. I know them all well. We'll get an officer there. Thank you very much. I knock off at midnight. We'll be there. Bye now. Goodbye. That was a very nasty thing you did, Andy. Got you running, though, didn't it? Not really. I was impressed, though. You're more inventive than I anticipated. Perhaps this will be more fun as a consequence. I think I could have you in a fight. Do you? Yeah, I think so. I've done some damage in my time. So have I, dear boy. So have I. Probably more. But you'll come disguised. Or creep up behind me in the dark. Something lacking. Not a genuine challenge. No, you've got it all wrong. We'll face each other on the moor at dawn, with all the world in attendance, and do battle to the death. Your death, that is. I'm looking forward to it. Good evening, operator service. Uh, yeah, my boyfriend's left his phone off the hook. Could you, uh, put something down the line? Like what, exactly? A noise or something. Oh, what, something like this? <laughs> Good evening, operator service. Right, now, you listen here. I've bought your Pro 10,000 Plus as advertised and paid £97.30 for the bastard thing, and yet I get this bill charging me for line rental. To... Oh, why don't you just go and burn your Shops phone? Shops don't charge you floor space rental when you're walking around them, do they? Burn your phone. What? Burn your phone. Hey, Burn it. Douse it with petrol and light the match. Who Do it. Is this? Burn your phone. Good evening, operator service. I've been trying to reach my husband all day. His number's 01273 I'm afraid that number's uh, temporarily out of service. No. Oh, haven't they paid their bill? That's one possibility. Perhaps they've burnt their phone. Pardon? It's a possibility. His central office will know the number. They've got all his details. Thanks, operator. His central office have all his details. Of course. Good evening, operator service. Guess who? What's up? Cat got your tongue. I know who you are. Do you? And who am I? The only other people other than myself who know the details you gave me mm-hmm. are in this company. This is some sort of bloody test, isn't it? Hey, he's cracked him! Hey, hey. Woo, woo. <laughs> Hello, Andy? Yes? Hi, it's your manager, Trevor Spode here. Oh, I knew it. Andy, I'd like to be the first to congratulate you on cracking the psychometric test. As you know, most of the operators are being laid off over the next few months, but you're one of the lucky ones who gets to stay. Lucky, oh yeah. <laughs> your killer for today was local thespian, Tony De La Smith. <laughs> say hi, Tony. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd like to say that an Oscar was in the bag, would you love me? <laughs> I mean, nothing personal, by the way, most of it's scripted. I, I suppose um, some of my responses were... Oh, well, we all knew what you'd say, you little rascal. More or less word for word, we've been doing this a long time. Oh, that must be very draining for you. No, 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 it's a hoot, really. I mean, better than Gilbert and Sullivan any day. Maybe I should come to your next performance. Hey, Trevor, my fan base has just expanded. <laughs> no, 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 but if you're serious, the show is called The Lady Fears for Murder, Town Hall, November 8th and 9th. I'll be there. Yeah, bring some friends, OK? Bye now. Quite a character, isn't it? Keeps us in stitches at the office. It's all this legal. Well, of course it is. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Uh, now, you're not sore about all this, are you? Do you realise I have got the police coming? Yes, very proactive of you. We'll have to work that possibility into our next exercise. Anyway, don't you worry about plot. I'll sort him out. One thing. Fire away, as they say. The mole residing on my left buttock. I don't recall noting that on any application form. Ah, you were overheard explaining it to the lovely Marilyn. Mm. 
After all, our job is listening. Anyhow, you get to keep your position, and you must be very pleased about that. What do you say? I see. I have a number of calls to attend to. Oh, what a worker. Okay, Andy, I'll be around next week, and we'll go over your results in a little more detail. There were a few procedures I wasn't too keen on. Like? Uh, burn your phone, for instance. Not a good idea, really. Perhaps not. Definitely not. Well, moustache. Ciao! Good evening, operator service. Could I have a reverse charge call, please? No, go away. Good evening, operator service. I'd like to make a complaint. Would you? Tough. Hello? This is Satan. Prince of Darkness. What? Good evening, operator service. I seem to be having difficulty in getting through. Do I care? No. Emergency, which service? Emergency, which service? Right. Yes? This is the emergency operator. Didn't you hear me? Well, why the bloody hell couldn't you have said? I'm We're not idiots, you know. All you could have said was, no thanks, I missed dial. But no, you're too important for that. You have to hang up. I'm we sorry. waste hours because of people like you. Next time, you answer. I will. Thank you. Right. Operator service. Operator service. Hello? Yes. Samaritan's number. It's engaged. Can't you sort your life out? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. What's the number? Um, uh, oh. One double two seven eight three double oh nine one. Some people have all the luck. You're really down, and even the Samaritans are too busy to talk to you. No, it doesn't really matter. Is that it then? Sorry? Is there anything else? Well, God, could you try the number again? Still busy. Oh. Call back later. <laughs> I'll call back. Later. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you going to put the phone down? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing it now. Fine. Fine. Hello? What? Thank you. I haven't done anything. Well, I, I suppose... I suppose not. Put the phone down. All right, Put I'll... it down. Yes. Just let it drop. I, Come on, no. Yes, no. No. <laughs> no, please. Okay, look. They'll just try again in a minute. They won't be long. I just... I just want someone to talk to. Why, what's wrong with you? Hmm? I'm sorry. It's, it's the drugs. Drugs? Yeah, I, I, I took an overdose. Oh, why did you have to go and do that? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not very well. I don't want to know. I'm, I'm sorry to drag you into all well, this. I honestly don't mind. Please, just talk to me. It doesn't matter if I die. It matters to me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know me. What, what have you taken? Oh, uh, the whole load of stuff. I, I just wanted to talk to someone. I, I don't want you to do anything. Well, it, it's no trouble to get an ambulance for you. If you try, I'll hang up. I promise me. I, I promise, I promise, I promise. There, there just isn't anyone else. Not now. It's okay. I'm here. <laughs> Burn Your Phone was written by Andrew Wallace with Alan Cumming as Andy and Jonathan Keeble as the killer. The Collars were played by J George Allenby, Geoffrey Whitehead, Becky Hindley, Sandra James Young, Zulema Dean and Stephen Critchlow. Burn Your Phone was directed by Mary Russell. That's all for this week. We hope you enjoyed today's radio play. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification button. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.